Well, let's take a look at the spring garden that I just planted. And immediately here to the right, I have my merry garden. And you know, some of the dear employees that we have, they said, Father, we have a gift for you. My mother had passed away and they brought five rose plants. Well, my mother's name was Rose and it happened to be her birthday. They didn't know that. So I made a nice little rose garden here for Our Lady. And I can always look at Our Lady whenever I'm out here working and offer a prayer. So we're gonna go over here where I've just planted my spring garden. And we have St. Francis of Assisi in the front, together with some marigolds that I planted, which are very colorful. And they bloom pretty much, you know, all summer long, spring long. And they help to keep the bugs away too. So they're a popular thing to grow around your garden. Well, the title of this uh, video is Past Your Prime Green Smoothie. <laughs> And the reason I'm calling it Pasture Prime, you're going to understand, is that last fall I had these leftover spinach seeds, five different types. I had the Giant Noble, I had Heirloom, I had Bloomsdale, I had Matador. So I had these different types of spinach seeds and they were like two years old. So I said, well, there's no harm in just planting them in the fall. And I did. And they survived the winter. And now in the spring, they're just flourishing. Of course, spinach likes cooler weather too. So they were past their prime as far as seeds go. And we're gonna make a pasture prime um, uh, green smoothie. And I'll show you some of the other elements that I'm gonna be using in that. So I've got some tomato plants here, some pepper plants, some onions, which are always good. And you know, spinach is one of the most nutritionally dense vegetables that you can eat. So you remember Popeye, if you grew up about the time that I did, that when he ate his spinach, he was strong. So we're gonna harvest some of this spinach now. So when you make a green smoothie, you want to have a couple of good handfuls of spinach and there's nothing better than just fresh out of the garden that morning. So we're gonna go down and we're going to turn it into a green smoothie after we give it a good washing. So they said, I'm calling this the past the prime green smoothie. The seeds were a couple of years old. They were past their prime. I have some frozen bananas here. So when your bananas get too ripe, as you are, I'm sure, familiar with, what I like to do is cut them up and freeze them. And that way I can use them in a smoothie and you don't have to use ice and it'll be cold. So these were past their prime. These grapes are definitely past their prime. So they're starting to turn brown a bit but we're gonna use them anyway in a smoothie. And then we have some fresh frozen, or not fresh strawberries, but frozen strawberries. And then a little bit of lemon to add a little bit of zest. I don't really have a formula I use all the time. Depends on what's in the house. But basically 50% green, 50% fruit. If you want it sweeter, add more fruit. If you don't want it so sweet, then less fruit. So we're just gonna add some water first here. And then we're going to put in a couple of handfuls of this beautiful, fresh spinach that I just picked. I'm going to throw these grapes on top of there. There we go. And the frozen bananas. We're getting to the top. Frozen strawberries. And then finally, a little bit of lemon for some zest. So we'll see how it turns out here. I always like to start it off on low and then gradually increase the speed. So it's not real bright green because we have some strawberries in there, but it's still lots of greens. As I said, the spinach is so nutritious that it's just a good way to get the nutrition of the day. And uh, we'll give it a try, see how it turned out. Some are better than others, <laughs> but I'm okay with it if it's not a great tasting because I know I'm getting the nutrition I need. That's actually very good. So I think the uh, white grapes really help to sweeten it up a bit. And of course the banana was very ripe and that's why I cut it up and put it in the freezer. And it's a good way to get the nutrition in the morning. 
So I hope you enjoyed this little video. But before I go, one of the reasons I wanted to call it Pasture Prime um, Green Smoothie is because the Psalms even speak about that. Psalm 92 speaks of the just, the righteous. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. So that Psalm speaks about being planted in the house of the Lord. And even as we get older, that we're able to bear fruit. We're able to bear fruit. And so that's a good consolation for me as I get older too. And how is it? By being planted in the house of the Lord. In other words, go often to where the Lord is present in the Blessed Sacrament. Receive the sacraments. Be a person of prayer. That's being planted in the house of the Lord. And if you do that, I promise you, as the psalm teaches us, that you will still bear fruit when you are old, still full of sap, still green. There'll be this divine life alive in you. As our Lord said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Well, he is life. And so when we remain attached to the vine who is Jesus, then we'll always have that divine life alive in us as well. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please like, share, and subscribe.